My name is Hank Lynch, and today I'll be giving my ceremonial speech project over President Obama, and I will be giving a toast to him. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we are waiting for. We are the change that we seek. I believe this quote from Obama really describes him as a person and as a whole. I think this quote is one of my favorites and it will go down as one of my best quotes ever. His motivational speaking is what really sets him off from the rest. Obama is a key icon when looking at a successful role model. And here are my three reasons why. First, Obama is a family man, a great father figure, and he does the best he can for his family. Second, Obama is a courageous man. Third, and lastly, Obama talks about our future as a whole and what he can do for us in the future. Today, we will talk about Obama and why I think Mr. President deserves a toast. First, Obama is a father figure for his children and a great family man. He always wants what's best for his kids no matter what. Family comes first for the Obama family. He even bought him a dog for his two children, Malaya and Sasha. His, him and his wife, Michelle, are constantly doing the best they can for their two dollars. Whether it's sending them to a private school for education, making sure they grow up and make their parents proud, or doing such in the community, community service and stuff, to make them really proud. Obama always does something that I think is really cool is even though he's president, he works hard, he's always in the office in the White House doing the best he can, he makes time to take his family on a vacation. Constantly, it seems like he's always flying somewhere, spending millions, but you know what? Family time is important. Not only is Obama a successful man, but his spouse, Michelle, just happens to be our first lady. My second point, Obama is a courageous man. Through all the hate and the heat he gets from many people in our country, he continues to do the best he can for the United States of America. I know many people that don't like Obama and that talk down on Obama, and they say, you know, he's the worst president we've ever had. But if you really think about it, in the era and the time that we're in today, how hard is it to have the job that he does? How hard is it to keep the economy the way it should be? It's not easy. If it's so easy, why don't you try it? He thought long and hard on how to take down Osama bin Laden, and through his success, he achieved his goals. Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden was taken down May 2nd of 2011, according to Wikipedia and Times Magazine. It just goes to show how he is a powerful man and how he can do great things for our country. One of my favorite things about his courage and stuff was his, the speech that made him president. He talked about change and what's best for our country. That just goes to show you how much power that he has as a president and how we can do great things for our country today. In our, in our economy today, Obama is doing a fine job with what he has to work with since he was elected president on November 4th on 2008. Third, and lastly, Obama talks about our future. Constantly, Obama is doing what he thinks is right for our future and keeping his eyes on the prize. He talks about change and not just making the United States a better place now, but how to improve on it in the future. Now as a president, you can't just take each day one day at a time. You have to constantly keep your head up and look what's best for us, not just now, but in the future. I think Obama does a really good job of this. You know, he's in office every day working his butt off. It's not just what he can do day to day, wake up for our country, it's he looks in the future. He looks to see what, you know, he can do for our country in the future. Maybe in a few years, he, he has, makes a, you know, a new act or something that, that keeps, you know, our elderly the way they should be, or Medicare, or things like that. He does what he thinks is best for our future. I believe that he does a fairly well job at keeping this country from going completely down the drain. In conclusion, my three main points I believe that Obama deserves a toast is because one, 
Obama is a father and father figure and a family man. Two, Obama is a courageous man. And third and finally, Obama talks about our future.